Hello everyone, I am Manuel Jamanakash. Welcome to our Laravel REST API development part 1. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the basic installation process of our Laravel app and then we will connect our database and create some migrations and models. So let's just start. First thing first, if you come from a uh, different language, that means very beginner. So you have to install PHP on your machine, whatever you have, you, you have used Windows or Mac, whatever. I'll prefer use of if you are using Windows use them and if you're using Mac you can use map so let's see if you're using Windows you, you have to install this them from here and definitely install this related greater latest version like 8.0 or 8.0 uh, I'll prefer this 8.1.6 and if you are using Mac you can install map map from here map.info you can install you can install from and for Mac another special thing would be good if you are, if you can also install separately PHP like reinstall PHP that's up to you okay the next step you have to install the composer go to getcomposer.org in getting started installation Linux or Mac OS X yeah in, in Mac you can write those but for Windows you, you just install this composer setup.exe and this is just a basic uh, windows application you can just install it and for mac you can follow these steps to download composer okay i think you will you have done this already i'm not go through this please please check the recommendation and if you have any problem and you can just comment below so i'm using this to check if, if you have installed everything correctly write composer hyphen v means uh, we are checking the composer version look after running this you will get this composer version 2.3.7 or higher it's up to you okay that means we have successfully installed composer and uh, on all other stuffs next step is uh, create our laravel project from go to laravel.com laravel.com and then click on get started and then documentation and definitely that we are in the installation page that sounds good next copy this composer create project laravel slash laravel example app copy this command and you can write this in your if you are using mem you can write the hdrx folder or are you so we're going to install our project here in hdrx folder start our terminal in hdrx folder okay so just cd back back okay so we're in hdrx folder look uh, I have, um, this is my location, Strux. And if you are using Windows, then your location will be something like that. C slash Zamp slash Strux. Right click and paste the. And look after uh, at the end, there is the app name. So we'll just rename it to Laravel CRUD API. Laravel CRUD API. That's it. Our project will. There will be a new project created here called Laravel CRUD API. Look, there is a already a folder created here, Laravel CRUD API. This is our base applications of Laravel. So Laravel's files are installing. It's almost done. It will take two or three minutes. Just wait and see. Okay, so if, if everything goes good, it will say application key set successfully. That's perfect. So we have created. So just go to this folder and you will see a lots of file and folders of Laravel. This is this is the basic frameworks of Laravel. So we'll open this in our favorite code editor VS Code. You can use any code editor, well, I'd, but I'll prefer VS Code. Okay, so we have just empty VS Code terminal. So we just drag and drop this project in VS Code. Or you can also select the folder from here. Okay, that's great. So we have launched our Laravel project here. So let's see the env file. This env file is the configuration file for our project. This is the app name, app local. This is this everything's good. So next step is let's see if this works. So terminal, new terminal, and then write piece partition serve. Piece partition serve. So it will create a live server for us, starting a Laravel development server for us. Click on here okay great so we have launched our laravel application here this is a very basic laravel application 
so look we have we are using the version level 9.19 and php is 8.17 that's some school okay so let's connect our database so in map i i have php my admin localhost slash php admin 5 but in if you are using xamp that would be localhost slash php my admin only in this place db database we will name the our will give the our database name so we'll create a database for our project laravel prod api create this here you can also create from your mysql client it's up to you so just paste it here db username write your db username and my case is root root you in your case if you're using them that would be root and this is empty okay so i've connected the database let's just migrate it after any changes you will see the environment will auto reload currently in my database look at this nothing is here it's very it's empty no tables found in here so after proper connection your database if you write php artisan migrate is partition migrate this command all of the basic database will come here let's see what happens wow that's great so let's see migration table created successfully that means in this in that table a new table called in this database level crowd api migration table is created wow and then there's also created user stable password reset stable and then fail job stables personal access token stable these are created so let's see reload the by pressing ctrl shift r or ctrl r wow great so look we have some um, five tables here this is the user table where our user information will be stored or, or if any user register his data will be stored here name email email verified add password member token created it updated it okay that sounds good so next we'll create another table for our products and if you're going to look in models folder there is a model for the user this is the user model and there is some lots of stuffs of its originated stuff by laravel so manually you don't have to write any every time this user setup in, in any project because these users is uh, almost any project it's necessary right let's see one model so that we can get basics under basic understand standings so this uses some traits this is the built-in traits of laravel core so we don't have to worry about this so much and in every model there should be one fillable proper protected fields area so look in our database there are some fields name email password these are actually fillable that means uh, user can update these and some some are hidden password and remember token these are hidden so one we can also cast like email verified date will be cast at date time so that's it that is a simple model in laravel and this model is connected to the database migrations and these user migrations so this is this this users migrations look there are all of the stuffs are created here so we'll now create a model and migration for our product table so let's just create this php artisan make model okay so make model will create actual model for product definitely this will be a class name that's why we'll name it capital letter product and after that we'll make a hyphen and m m is for migration we'll actually create the model and the migration both file will be created so and we can also pass some other stuff like c means control r r means resource but uh, we don't write those um, for now we just keep it as model and migration so after pressing enter there will be a migration created here and there will be a model created here let's see so look migrations is created look there is the migrations for create products and there is a model for product oh well, that's awesome that sounds good so in the migrations class 
we have to define our tables columns right look currently there is nothing here in products after creating my after creating this command this partition make model um, it only creates this product model and this migration it doesn't actually migrate when we write command piece partition migrate then it will write the command to migrate then um, then one field will uh, ent enter in these migrations there will be uh, one field will created here and there will be new new table will be created in here so let's we have to give our fields in here in this table you can get the details from after typing migration in laravel doc database migration and you will get all the stuffs necessary stuffs here so let's just see how we can create some column in our table look table then string string then timestamp these are the property so if we want to create a worker type column then it would be string and if we want to create created an, an updated column then we have to give timestamps and by default this id and timestamp is it's actually preferred to give an id and timestamp for any model so if you go little down you will see all of the necessary commands yeah necessary listed here like string takes time jet long takes and everything you can check all of this at, at your own i'm not go through all of this so i'll create our columns here table and then i'll create a title for our product by default string will make 255 characters so i'm i don't manually don't need to write this 255 it's not necessary so I'll, I'll not going to write this and this is mandatory so i'll not going to i'll not give this this to here i'll not give nullable this because it's not it will be not nullable and then we need a slug for our product right for a battery model that's why it will give a slug and this slug must be unique because if this is not unique then we cannot get the unique product okay that's and after that let's create a um, float value for price price okay and by default we can ensure some default value because it's better to make some default value to zero to price Mm, it's uh, it it would be good because if we use uh, default as zero because we can calculate this mm, using this price many many, many stuff so next i'll create our uh, string for image okay we'll create a featured image for our product and by default it could be nullable because someone can give a product image or not it's, it it actually depends on him so table and and then uh we'll use unsigned begin teaser unsigned begin teaser unsigned begin teaser and column column would be user id user id user id column okay and we can actually make some comment if uh, every product will be created by an user okay so this will this must be give so we'll just user who created this product that's that sounds good <laughs> great next we'll create a foreign column with user id table foreign user id references id on users okay that sounds good okay so this is a product table let's just run migrate php partition migrate if everything's correct in this migration then it would create a my product table in database so let's go to database and check if the table is created or not okay so this table is successfully created products wow titles flag price image user id created and updated that's awesome and if you go to structure we can you can see product slug unique products user id foreign key that's awesome okay this perfectly done and one limitation is for float it look it's saying the double h2 so if your price is greater than eight digits so you must have to update to big float or something like that and another thing uh, i must have to remember you if you create a foreign key like user id look i'm um, defining the foreign table is users table right and in users table that is 
look go to user stable the id column is begin this is begin okay so if you create a foreign key from here product stable it must have to be the same same type okay look this is also begin because we have used the unsigned begin teaser that's the if you use integer that then you will see an error awesome we have made our migrations and everything last step is we'll create our model we modify our model first we'll add the protected fillable fields fillable it would be an array so what will be fillable title slug price image and user ID. only this okay so that's it this would, this would be in our fillable property and next uh, every product will be connected to an user that's why so we'll write a function called user then this would be belongs to user class okay so actually i have made one to one relationship and if i go to user i can also make there a one to many relationship but i'm not doing that right now it's not necessary that's it cool so to check if everything's working perfectly i'm going to go to route slash web.php file where our route is defining route is working for this file uh, i can go actually from here but i'm not preferring this so let's just create product enter here if you are entered here then you will see this namespace will auto import it product and get the all product okay and just um, just bottom this or dime dump this with larval way okay so product all so let's just see if this dime dump works okay so it's saying this is empty that sounds cool it should be empty no problem so we'll just create a dummy user and a dummy product here to create an user we will use tinker okay so open tinker we write php artisan tinker php artisan tinker okay so in here we can actually write some php code and execute it so i'm actually create a new user user new user we're instantiating the user model okay so okay is instantiated and it's saved in user user uh, name equal to akash okay user email equal to akash at the rate gmail.com okay then user password equal to i will use hash of laravel hashing tick hashing hashing for password hashing hash then make function of that and i'll use right one two three four five six seven eight plus just eight digit password and this is a this will be actually hashed uh, look i have misspelled in user it would be dollar sign enter it after enter it look there is a hashed password and if we write user save then an entry will be created in database if we see true if we see not true that means we have done something wrong or not provided some fields so just reload this user yeah that's perfect so look everything is created created at updates is what's product will also create one data using this tinker i'm just close this controls uh, command c or control c again piece per addition tinker now i'll create a one one entry for product table okay so let's see uh how we'll do that product equal new product okay then product of title equal to first product then product of uh slug equal to first product product of price equal to 1200 product um, of user id because this is mandatory right user id is one because we have already created a user id who is id is one this is one so i just give this user id and then we can just save this sorry not user it would be product product save save oh it's true 
so that means product is created let's just reload these products wow great we have created a product also and if we just relate in re reload in here there is there there is nothing but if we just reload reload now it will create it will see the product data in this items array wow look this is the model and in attributes these are attributes given that's awesome that sounds cool okay so in the next episode we're going to learn repository pattern crowd interface and response rate that will be a very important lecture so stay tuned and definitely subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any problem bye bye